A dozen homes are gone, leaving at least 75 people without a place to live. That tops our wildfire watch at 1 o'clock. Not long ago, the San Carlos Apache tribe has declared a state of emergency and requested disaster assistance from the state and federal governments to battle the watch fire. Due to that fire, right now, White Mountain Avenue and Perido siding to Again Bridge remain closed at this time. Route 170 from San Carlos Avenue is closed as well. We do have team coverage today, and we want to head over to William Pitts, who's covering this fire for us. Uh, William, what can you tell us at this hour? says they've opened a criminal investigation into the start of this fire as it was human caused. I want to show you behind me what you can see of this fire. It doesn't look like much, but it did sweep through here very hot and very fast. Take a look off in the distance. You can see one of those houses was hit by fire retardant. That's an airdrop. And look how effective that is. Right where that red is, that's where the fire absolutely stops. Unfortunately, there are a lot of homes to the left of that red spot and they were uh, in the line of fire, so to speak. Now, this fire is 0% contained right now, which means they do not have a line around the entire thing that will hold. There are hot spots, but the flames and smoke, as you saw, are pretty much gone. But the tribe says at least 12 families lost their homes in this fire. It started last night and swept through town, burning those homes from San Carlos all the way down to Peridot. It's been hot. There's no moisture out here at all. And fire officials say it was burning through thick, thick brush and trees with an incredibly low moisture content. The, the dryness of some of the larger fuels like these mesquite trees is actually drier than the wood you would buy at Home Depot. There's less moisture in some of those trees than wood you buy from the hardware store. We did pass an emergency declaration that would allow us to go ahead and contact FEMA directly. And so we are in the process of that right now and working with our FEMA representatives. Now, there's a shelter set up at San Carlos High School, which is off Highway 70 here in Paradise. So far, no one's come to that one, but the Red Cross was still setting it up this morning. And coming back here live, I want to show you the map of this fire. The red outline here, that's where the fire was. Now, we're told it started somewhere in this area up north, but uh, the winds were pushing it, as they are now, to the north. Unfortunately, a big monsoon storm, we're told, swept through here this way pushing all of the winds the opposite direction down into Peridot. All in here is where those homes were lost. And of course, we're expecting an update later this afternoon to get some more acreage and an updated containment number as well, some more details about what exactly was burned. As soon as that happens, we'll bring it to you on 12 News and 12news.com. We're live near San Carlos, William Pitts, 12 News.